Hello there! Welcome to another awesome Sunday with us at Celeb Kids. How are you? How was your week? Hope you had an interesting one, a swell one. Hope you had fun. I'm sure if you've been attending online school, school was interesting. Everybody looks forward to the weekend, I know. So you were looking forward to getting a break and to resting. I'm so excited to be talking to you again today. My name is Ify, and I'm going to be bringing God's word to you along with another tutor, Tommy. We promise you guys are going to learn. You're going to have fun. You're going to be better equipped at being a Christian. So remember for the last three weeks, four weeks, We've been talking about how to reach the world with the love of God, how to let people know that God loves them and has and has a plan for them. And we've been talking about different groups of people, people of different faiths. We've talked about Muslims. And in the last week, we talked about Jehovah Witnesses. And we're continuing with that today and rounding up today. So get ready. Have your notepad, have your pen, have your Bible beside you because it's going to be an awesome session but before we delve further into today's class i'd like us to pray so bow down your heads and let's pray dear heavenly father we thank you for a chance to learn your word and gather together as friends as your children we pray daddy that every word that we hear today would be for us useful in propagating the gospel with the things that we learn today we'll be able to tell our friends about the love of christ we'll be better equipped we'll be better teachers of the gospel thank you daddy in jesus name we pray amen now that we're done praying we're going to spend the next few minutes praising god in a few songs after which we'll go into the lesson for the day so don't go away we'll be right back see ya
It's a good news, we must share it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm full of boldness. Yes, the whole world must hear, must hear about our Jesus. Come on, sing it. Sing a galah. It won't end here. We'll go out and tell them the love of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've done so much for us, God. We won't keep it to ourselves. You died not just for me, not just for you. You died for the whole world. One more time. I'm going to sing of your love, God. I'll tell you. Hey guys welcome back my name is Tommy and it's so great to have you join service today so before we get into today's lesson let's remind ourselves of what we learned last week last week we talked about Jesus weaknesses so a Jesus witness is a person who believes and declares that Jesus died he was buried and was raised back to life such a person believes that all that Jesus did is the only way to be saved and to have eternal life. So, a Jesus witness shares this with everyone around. Firstly, because Jesus instructed us to do that. And also because people who do not know about the gospel need to hear it so that they can become a part of God's family. Right? So last week, we also talked about the differences between Jesus' weaknesses and Jehovah's weaknesses. We learned that Jehovah's witnesses claim to be Christians. They believe in God, the Creator, and that Jesus is the Son. But they do not believe that Jesus is God. They do not believe in the Trinity, which is that we have one God and three persons. Can you remember that? Great. They believe that the Holy Spirit is the power of God, but not God. They also believe that a man is saved by doing good works. While we Christians believe that a man is saved simply by faith through grace, not of good works at all. So it is our responsibility to tell them the truth. And that is what makes us Jesus witnesses. Can you remember that this is what we learned last week? Mm. By the way, have you been following our daily devotional that is, that is posted on CCI underscore selectings on Instagram? If you haven't, now is a good time to check and follow the daily devotional, it is for you to grow and to understand the word of God better. You can tell your parents about it and you can tell your other friends about it. So now, let's get into today's lesson. Hey kids, it's time for today's lesson. At this point, make sure that you have your writing materials. All right. Let's start. Last week, we talked about Jesus' witnesses. And so this week, we're going to continue with the same topic. So you can just write in your notes, Jesus' witnesses, part two. Great. Also, last week, we learned about the differences between Jesus' witnesses and Jehovah witnesses. Today, we'll talk about how we can help Jehovah witnesses become Jesus' witnesses. So, let's turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Go ahead and open your Bibles. Romans 10, verse 2. And it says, I can say this about them. They try to follow God, but they 
but they do not know the right way. Let's read that again. I can say this about them. They really try to follow God, but they do not know the right way. You see, in this verse, Paul was talking about the Jews. He said that they really tried to follow God, but they had learned about God the wrong way. And so everything they were doing was wrong. Just like every other religion that has not accepted Jesus and the gospel of Christ. They may appear to be very passionate about the things of God, but because they do not believe that Jesus is God and that we are saved by grace, they are doing it all wrong. It's quite sad that they think it's quite sad that they think they are correct, but the Bible says otherwise, and we know that the Bible is the standard. So the Bible already tells us that the only way of knowing God is through his son, Jesus Christ. When anyone tries to do that outside of him, they fall into error. So the good news is that this is where you, okay, you and I come in. Because we know the truth and we are Jesus' witnesses. It is our job to tell everyone that hasn't believed about what Jesus has done for us to be saved. So you and I should tell even the Jehovah Witnesses of what Jesus has done for them and how they can be saved through what he has done. Do you understand? So, but before you can tell a Jehovah Witness what they need to know, you, all, you have to understand what they believe and you also, under, you also have to understand what the truth is. I'll take that again. Before, for you to witness to Jehovah Witnesses, <laughs> see what I did there. For you to witness to Jehovah Witnesses, you have to first understand what they believe and also what the truth is. Remember that there can only be one truth and nothing else. This truth is what the Bible says. So remember that when we talked about one way, we saw from the Bible that Jesus is the only way to God. Salvation is found only in him. This is the basis of our belief as Christians. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God except through him. Yes, you see? Jehovah Witnesses do not believe this, so it is our responsibility to explain to them that Jesus is the Son of God and also God himself. In Luke chapter 1 verses 27 to 38, you can go ahead and read these verses. We see why Jesus is called the Son of God. It is because there was no human impute in how Jesus was conceived and in his birth. Remember that the Spirit of God came upon Mary and she became pregnant with a son. You see, that supernatural way is the way that Jesus is God. That is why we call Jesus the Son of God. So, when you want to explain to Jehovah Witnesses, you show them with this scripture that Jesus is the Son of God simply because no man or woman came together to, for him to be conceived. Rather, the Spirit of God came upon Mary and because the Spirit of God came upon Mary, Jesus is the Son of God. Do you understand? amazing so let's also turn our bibles to colossians chapter 1 verses 19 to 23 go ahead and open your bibles colossians chapter 1 verses 19 verses 19 to 23 and it says for God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ, and through him, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth 
by means of Christ's blood on the cross. This includes you who were once far away from God. You were his enemies, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. Yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ in his physical body. As a result, he has brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. But you must continue to believe this truth and stand firmly in it. Do not drift away from the assurance you've received when you heard the good news. Okay, let's stop there. You see, in, Colosh, in the verse that we just read, we see that God's way of bringing us back to himself is through his son, Jesus Christ. Just like Jesus already told us in John 14 verse 6, that he is the only way to God. Colossians chapter 1 verses 19 to 23 also confirms it. So Christ is the miracle the world needed to be reconciled to God, to come back to God. Do you understand? So as compared to the Jehovah's Witnesses, where we know that Christ is the only way to God because he's the son of God and he gave himself freely for us. Do you, are you still following me? That's great. Let's also see Colossians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10. Colossians 2 verse 9 to 10. Okay, let's read. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. So you also are complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. Whoa. So Colossians 2 verse 9 to 10 tells us that all of God, the entirety of God was pleased to live in Christ. So everything about God, everything we want to know about God, every, everything about God dwells in Christ. So when we see Christ, we see God. When we know Christ, we know God. Do you understand? All of God dwells in Christ Jesus. So even when Jesus was on earth, Remember the word incarnation. It was God in human body walking on the surface of the earth. So yes, Jesus is God. He's not just the son of God, but he is also God. That's one thing we need to know and we need to be sure of when we are talking to Jehovah Witnesses. We need to help them realize that Jesus isn't just the son of God. He is also God. God. Why? Because Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 to 10 tells us that. Hallelujah. So kids, it is important that we know this truth so that we can be Jesus witnesses to the Jehovah witnesses. When we understand that Jesus is God and is also the son of God, we can explain to them the truth. We can help them see the truth in the word of God. We can also tell them that Jesus is the only way to God and is the only way any man can be saved. When we do this, you and I are called Jesus witnesses. We are simply following God's instruction, Jesus' instruction to tell the world of his good news oh wow i'm sure that you you now have an understanding of what it takes to be jesus witnesses to jehovah witnesses hallelujah <laughs> so let's take a look at our memory verse now our memory verse is taken from romans chapter 10 verse 2 Let's read together. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Let's read together and then you say after me. It says, I can say this about them. They really try to follow God, but they do not know the right way. Let's read it again and then you say it after me, I remember. <laughs> I can say this about them. They really try to follow God, but they 
do not know the right way. So let's say, okay, say it after me this time. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. I can say this about them. They really try to follow God, but they do not know the right way. So that's our memory verse for today. Try and learn it and remember through the course of the week. So I want you to know that it is very important for us to tell Jehovah's Witnesses that Jesus is the only way to God. Because God loves them and because God loves them, we have to tell them the truth. It will be fair that they think that they know God and then later find out that what they knew was not the truth. So when you have the opportunity, you should tell them the truth in love not do not shout them down but tell them the truth in love and you should also pray for as many jehovah witnesses you know so that they can be saved by faith through grace in christ jesus Woo! we've learned so much today i hope you learned something All right, guys, let's do a recap of today's lesson. So two major things that we have learned today. First, we have learned that Jesus witnesses, which refers to myself and yourself, believe that Jesus is God. Jesus was God's plan all the while to ensure that he brings man back to himself. So Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. He lived among men and died for man's reconciliation back to God. So Jesus is not an angel. Jesus is not um, the most senior archangel. Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. Second important thing we have learned today is that we are not saved by good works. Jehovah Witnesses believe that we are saved by our good works. We are not saved by good works. But we are saved because we believe in what Jesus Christ has done. So you say to yourself, oh, so why are we then told to do good works? Good works are the evidence, results of your salvation. So because you are saved, you can do good works. Because you are God's workmanship, you can produce good works. So good works don't get you saved. You are saved by believing in what Jesus Christ has done for your benefit. But the good works are the result of your salvation. The good works are the evidence of your salvation. So these two things are very key when you talk to your friends who are Jehovah Witnesses in school, on the playground, or you have cousins who are Jehovah Witnesses. This is very important information for you to share with them. So we have learned what they believe and we have learned what the truth is so that we can teach them better, teach them differently. I hope this is clear. Great. Guys, it's time for us to take our activity. So, you are to complete this conversation. You are going to fill the blank spaces with the appropriate words. When you're done, you should send your activities to outreachchildren at gmail.com. Don't worry, the email will be displayed on your screen. Oops, <laughs> look at the time. We've come to the end of another episode with us at Celeb Kids Online School, Online Church. We trust you learned a lot. It's been a packed month. My advice for you is to go back to your books, go back to your notes, go back to the videos so that you can read and watch and remember what it is that you have learned this month about sharing your faith with others muslims jehovah witnesses and people who don't even have an idea what it is that they should believe i trust that you guys will be equipped to be better at talking your friend talking to your friends about jesus christ okay guys let's take our benediction as is our tradition 
If you're just joining us for the first time and you don't know it, it's okay. You can say it after me. But if you do, please join me as I say this. We serve God by His Spirit. We boast in Christ Jesus. We put no confidence in the flesh. We experience progress and joy in the faith because we are celeb kids. Great. Do have an awesome week. And don't forget to send us your comments, questions, or whatever it is you just like to say on outreachchildren at gmail.com. Bye for now.